Hey, what's going on, guys? IS Today's here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the marble shader in Cinema 4D to make some cool marble materials without having to get any textures online. So, let's get started. First, we're going to make the material. And it's pretty simple, but um, let's get started. So, anyway, uh, open up the material, um, and we're going to actually call it marble. And in the color channel, um, in the texture here, use uh, surface and marble it makes pretty nice marble surface but the thing is um marble isn't just like a normal material that you might have where this light just hits the surface and bounces off the light actually hits the surface goes into the surface like into the marble bounces around inside and then comes out so um, we're gonna need subsurface scattering for that so go to your luminance channel enable it and then in the texture use effects subsurface scattering we're going to open this up and actually set your preview to um, Sphere GI. And then we're going to use the preset uh, marble. I think this is a pretty nice preset. Um, and the path lines, you can turn that up if you want to. Um, that's just how far it goes into the surface. So I think we'll leave it at 15, or we'll bring it up to 15, sorry. And we are done with our material. Now we're going to go ahead and add in a cube, I think. <clears throat> you know, add in a cube, the fillet, and we will make the object editable and select all these four sides. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, select all those four sides, and we're going to right click and we will just go ahead and bevel them. Whoop. There we go. Get your nice little bevel, like, just like that. Can we do another bevel? Yeah, we'll bevel them twice. Okay. Now we get a nice little, I don't know what that is. Looks, looks kind of like Lego, but um, <clears throat> nice little um, object to preview our material. So we're going to apply it to there. And the mapping isn't great, so we're going to go and set this to flat. And maybe pilot a few times oh just like that should be good and we're gonna make sure to set it to oh, let's see here if we render it that looks pretty good that looks pretty good so we'll set uh, in the cube here just to show uh, I think we'll make this like 80 tiles and 35 tiles okay and that looks pretty good now in the editor this looks like it's all like stretched out but in the fi in the render it, it's, it's not so don't worry about that Okay, so now we're going to make the backdrop. We are going to grab a cube, and we are going to go ahead and scale it up. So, let's go ahead and just scale it up, scale it up. Lots. We want a massive cube. And this will be our backdrop, so we're going to make a pretty big cube, just like that. And then we are going to bring up a fillet. So, enable the fillet, and we will set the fillet radius to about um, 700. And the filled subdivisions will bring that up. Oops. Filled subdivisions will bring that up to 10. And then just make the object editable. We're going to select all these polygons. Hit delete. Hit control A. We're going to select all of them. And then we're just going to shift and left click on all these polygons to deselect them. We're just going to delete all the polygons except these. And this is my quick way of creating a backdrop. And there you go. Backdrop done. Now we'll grab. We'll actually go into line mode. Or the, um, sorry, the, um. Yeah, line editing mode, or edge mode, sorry. And we're going to just bring up the, the the back here. Bring that up a bit. Okay. So that's done. Um, we'll select everything. We'll just move it up a bit. Because I like to do everything above the grid. And we're going to grab the um, cube again. We're going to move it up a bit. And we'll just put it right about here. Okay. And we'll make our camera now. So we're going to move in right about here and we're going to rotate this a bit just to add that bit of randomness that makes it look a bit more like realistic i guess we'll just add a bit like just like that that looks pretty good um adding a bit of randomness to your scene will always help make it a bit more realistic because in real life everything isn't perfect right um so we're gonna add in a camera there we go and nice we have our camera added in there and i think we're gonna move our backdrop a bit 
just to just like that should be good okay now we're gonna do our lighting now lighting shouldn't be anything too hard but um, I think we're just gonna open up um, or we're gonna make a new material what am I saying open up make a new material we're gonna call this one softbox and we'll just open it up disable all the channels except luminance and in the illumination uh, check GI area light and boom you're done okay so now we're gonna add in a new plane and we're gonna go ahead and just use that as a roof um, or not roof what am I saying top softbox not roof <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna move it just so it fills up the entire area kind of like that and we'll apply the softbox to it now you can add more soft boxes or do like studio lighting or something I made a tutorial on that so you can find that tutorial on my channel shouldn't be too hard to find if you want to get some really good lighting but we're just doing some simple lighting um, just some decent lighting okay um, and the backdrop as well we'll make a new just default material and we'll call it backdrop okay oops uh, I did something with the window let me just um, uh, layouts um, okay it seems I accidentally messed up my menus there it's fine I fixed it <laughs> okay so I was saying uh, making the material for the backdrop uh, apply to your backdrop and now we will deal with our render settings okay so open up your render settings we're gonna set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 1080p resolution and uh, effect ambient occlusion effect global illumination and the preset we will set it to object visualization high okay and samples um, you can bring that up if you want to 128 um, we'll bring it up to 512 or now nah, we'll do 256 that should be fine and in the iridians cache you can change these I guess oh did we not set it yeah in the iridians cache I, I, yeah, in the iridians cache I guess you can bring up the record density but we're just gonna leave it medium because this is just um, a preview render I guess not something super high quality but for your final render you're probably gonna set the record density up to high um, and smoothing I guess we can set that to 60 and the color refinement we can set that to, that, set that, set that to 90 and if you're not using, um, if you're only using your standard render, you're also going to want anti-aliasing set to best and at least 2x2, two 2x2 by two, um, two by two and 4x4. Four by four. And if you have a really good computer or you want lots of anti-aliasing, you can set it to 4x4 four four and 8x8, eight eight, but 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four <clears throat> still produce pretty good results. Um, so I think that is it. Um, yeah, that's all. So I'm going to go ahead and render this and I will leave the final result um, at the end of the video. So yeah, see you guys. Um, hope you all have a good day and I'll see you guys later. Bye